FreshBooks walkthrough. How to use FreshBooks accounting for beginners. Hey guys, welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use FreshBooks for accounting, invoices, payments, reporting, and much more. So let's get into it. First of all, what you guys need to do is you're going to actually go to freshbooks.com and you will land right here. This is the website right here. FreshBooks is a software for accounting and bookkeeping. Here we have different features. We will be getting invoicing. Then we have expenses, time tracking, projects, payments, reporting, accounting, and mobile app as well. So you can actually get started for free on FreshBooks. So you're going to hit try for free and you will create your own account. Creating an account is really easy. You can use your email address and you can sign up with your Apple ID or Google account. I'm going to log into my FreshBooks. So after the initial sign up or sign in to your FreshBooks, this is where you will get. You can see this is my dashboard on FreshBooks. On FreshBooks, you will have your own account and then we have our main dashboard. This is the outlook of the dashboard. You can see uh, we have our overview for our invoices and profits and we have some of these streams here. Then we have our clients. So this is where I will create different clients on my accounting software. I will be able to add different customers. Then we have invoices payments, expenses, estimates. We also have time tracking projects in my team. So here I'll be able to see my plan that I have selected. And at the bottom here, we have reports and accounting again. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the client section here and add a client. So we can add a new client with a list or we can add it manually. So in order to add a new client on FreshBooks, you have to enter their first name, last name, company name, enter their email address and phone number. So I'm going to quickly, uh, you know, enter everything here. So once this information is added, we can also add a business phone number. We can add a mobile phone number and a address as well. Then we have some of the client settings that we can do. We can send reminders. We have charge late fee. Then we have currency and language. And then we have invoice attachments. So I will be able to add different attachments to my uh, client right here. Add different reminders and also change their currency and language so that I can keep track of uh, different things that we have. So I'm going to click on save and my new client will be added right here in my client section. So now we can see we have a new client profile and here I'll be able to see everything about this contact. So once the client is created, we can now create invoices, payments and more. So let's go to the invoice option. Using FreshBooks is actually really easy. You can see once you go to invoices, now you will get the new invoice option right here at the top. Click on new invoice. So let's create a new invoice. Uh, first, drag your logo here and select a file. So if you want to go for a logo, you can actually do that and enter it right here. And then we have build to. So here I will add a client. I'm going to click on add a client and it will open up my client list for me. This is the client that we just created. So I'm going to enter this client here. Now we have date of issue and due date. So I'm going to change the due date right here. The date of issue is going to be similar. So add a number of days. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add like three days here and click on enter or we can also add a specific date let's say i want them to pay this by 27th or 28th so i'm just going to enter the date here so the due date will be added this is going to be the invoice number and then we have the amount so for an amount we actually have to go to description here and enter an item first so to enter an item you're going to enter the name for instance i have some online sessions so this is my you know item so i'm going to enter here and then the rate is going to be, for instance, for each uh, session, we charge, let's say, $60. Then we can add a text here as well, or we can leave it. And then we have to enter the quantity. They actually bought two of these. So I'm going to enter the amount here, which is going to be two. So we have like $120 uh, for them. Or I can actually add more and more into it. For instance, I can add another line. And this time I'm going to add another item, which is going to be another session they had. So I'm going to click on enter and it will be added. The rate for this one is actually 100 and they bought three of these. So this is going to be their total uh, invoice for, for $20 that they have to pay. So now what will happen is it's actually the other currency here, but I'm just giving you an example. So here we have again uh, the different reminders that we can send them. So I can actually send them a reminder here, automatically send payment reminders for this client's invoice. So we can actually do this so that we don't have to, you know, remind them manually uh, An automatic reminder will be sent to them. And then we have accept online payments. So this is actually really good that with FreshBooks, I can accept online payments by connecting Stripe. I can also then I will be able to accept credit cards, Visa card, then we have Apple Pay and more. We can also 
also get a direct debit card. So this is how we can connect these payment methods. And then we have make recurring. So if you want to create recurring invoices, then you can get the option right here within your invoice option. Uh, and then we have invoice attachments. If you want to attach any file, then you can add right here. Add the option to attach a file. So you can just enable this option and then upload the file that you want to add. This is how it looks like. You can see we have a new invoice. I'm going to click on save and the invoice will be saved on my FreshBooks and I can click on send to and it will be sent to the client for which I created. And now if I scroll down, you can see we have a new invoice here. Then we have our payments. So in our payments, again, I can connect different payments here. You can see all invoice payments. Click on this plus button add an invoice here and add the payment. So here you will be able to keep track of all of the different payments that you're doing, uh, check your different invoices and different payment methods too. Then we have expenses. So here I will be able to track my budget of my business that I have. So click on new expense. So here let's create a new expense now. First, we need to create a category. For instance, we have repairs, we have uh, contracts, we have employee benefits, meals and entertainment and um, office expenses and more. So what I'm doing is my main expense is the shipping and carriers. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to enter it right here and then we're going to add a merchant because I selected shipping and carriers then I will have to add a merchant here and add a description. Then we can also drag a receipt image here. The look of FreshBook is actually really cool and uh, very vintage because we get these, you know, pins and we have these cards so that it gives us the look of that we're doing work on paper. So here we have grand total. It will show me the grand total for my expenses. And again, I can assign this to a client or a team member. And then we have make recurring and currency. So within FreshBook, we can actually add currency for each expenses separately and for each client separately. It's not like just if you have USD and then you will have to deal in USD for all the clients. You can change currency for each client. So now I'm just going to click on save and my new expense will be created right here. So now you can see we have an expense. In expense, we also have bills and vendors here. Then we have estimates. So estimate is the estimates and proposal here, professional estimates and proposals of the streamline your invoices. So let's create uh, a estimate or a proposal. So we're going to click on create new. We can create an estimate list the services you'll provide and their cost and proposal. So let's go with estimates. This is where we can actually create different items and then add them to our invoices. Uh, so for instance, I can add a client. I'm going to add the same client here and I will create different uh, types of, uh, you know, so I will create different types of estimates here. Uh, I will add different items and I will have an idea that this client, the estimate price and uh, cost for this client is going to be this and this is how it will work. So that's how we can add a estimate. Just click on save and it will be added. And then we have time tracking. Now it's really important when it comes to an accounting software, we actually have billable hours. So if you deal in such business where you have to generate invoices according to billable hours, then what you will do is you will track your time here. For instance, I'm going to add a new entry. Uh, we have a project going on. So we have a project for this one right here. And then we can add a service. For instance, there's a person doing something for me. Let's say they are a, actually a freelancer working from home. And now what I will do is I will track their time here. Uh, in hours, for instance, for they are going to work for two hours and I'm going to click on done. And then it, this is going to be a billable hour that will be created with for them. And this way I will be able to generate different invoices according to billable hours and I will be able to then send them and pay them. So then we have projects. So if you want to create more projects and divide them, manage them better, then you can create a different projects, divide different clients into different projects and work on them uh, to collaborate better. And then we at the end, we have my team. Invite a team member on FreshBook by clicking invite team here. You can invite a an admin, manager, employee, contractor or accountant and just enter their email address. For instance, I want to invite a manager. Enter their first name, email address, send an invitation to them and they will join you on your FreshBooks. So yeah, guys, this is how you use FreshBooks. It was a walkthrough for you guys. Uh, I showed you all of the different features and tools we are getting. I hope that I was a big help to you guys. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Turn on bell notification and subscribe to YouTube channel.